Emerald Tablet 10 The Key of Time List ye, O man, take of my wisdom. Learn of the deep hidden mysteries of space. Learn of the thought that grew in the abyss, bringing order and harmony in space. Know ye, O man, that all that exists has been only because of the law. Know ye the law, and ye shall be free, never be bound by the fetters of night. Far through strange spaces have I journeyed, into the depth of the abyss of time, learning strange and yet stranger mysteries, until in the end all was revealed. Know ye that mystery is only mystery, when it is knowledge unknown to man. When ye have plumbed the heart of all mystery, knowledge and wisdom will surely be thine. Seek ye and learn that time is the secret, whereby ye may be free of this space. Long have I, Thoth, sought wisdom, I, and shall seek to eternity's end. For know I that ever before me receding shall move the goal, I seek to attain. For even the lords of the cycles know that not yet have they reached the goal. For with all of their wisdom they know that truth ever grows. Once in a past time I spoke to the dweller, asked of the mystery of time and space, asked him the question that surged in my being, saying, O oh Master, what is time? Then to me spoke he, the master, Know ye, O Thoth, in the beginning there was void and nothingness, a timeless, spaceless nothingness. And into the nothingness came a thought, purposeful, all-pervading, and it filled the void. There existed no matter, only force, a movement, a vortex or vibration of the purposeful thought that filled the void. And I questioned the master, saying, Was this thought eternal? And answered me the dweller, saying, In the beginning there was eternal thought, and for thought to be eternal, time must exist. So into the all-pervading thought grew the law of time. Aye, time, which exists through all space, floating in a smooth, rhythmic movement that is eternally in a state of fixation. Time changes not, but all things change in time. For time is the force that holds events separate, each in its proper place. Time is not in motion, but ye move through time, as your consciousness moves from one event to another. Aye, by time ye exist, all in all, an eternal one existence. Know ye that even though in time ye are separate, yet st ye still are one in all times existent. Ceased then the voice of the dweller, and departed I to ponder on time. For knew I that in these words lay wisdom, and a way to explore the mysteries of time. Oft did I ponder the words of the dweller, then sought I to solve the mystery of time. Found I that time moves through strange angles, yet only by curves could I hope to attain the key, that would give me access to the time-space. Found I that only by moving upward, and yet again by moving to rightward, could I be free from the time of this movement. Forth I came from out of my body, moved in the movements that change me in time. Strange were the sights I saw in my journeys, many the mysteries that opened to view. I saw I man's beginning, learned from the past, that nothing is new. Seek ye, O man, to learn the pathway that leads through space and are formed forth in time. 
Forget not, O man, with all of thy seeking, that light is the goal ye shall seek to attain. Search ye ever for light on the pathway, and ever for thee the goal shall endure. Let not thine heart turn ever to darkness, let thine soul be a sun on the way. Know ye that in the eternal brightness ye shall ever find the soul hid in light. Never fettered by bondage to darkness, ever it shines forth a sun of the light. Aye, know thou, hidden in darkness, your soul, a spark of the true flame, exists. Be ye one with the greatest of all lights, find at the source the end of thy goal. Light is life, for without the great light nothing can ever exist. Know ye that in all formed matter the heart of light always exists. Aye, even though bound in the darkness, inherent light always exists. Once I stood in the halls of Amenti and heard the voice of the lords of Amenti, saying in tones that rang through the silence words of power mighty and potent. Chanted they the songs of the cycles, the words that open the path to beyond. I, I saw the great path opened, and looked for an instant into the beyond. Saw I the movements of the cycles, fast as the thought of the source could convey. Knew I then that even infinity is moving on to some unthinkable end. Saw I that the cosmos is order, and part of a movement that extends to all space, a part of an order of orders, constantly moving in harmony of space. Saw I the wheeling of cycles, like vast circles across the sky. Knew I then that all that has being is growing to meet yet an other being, in a far-off grouping of space and time. Knew I then that in words are power, to open the planes that are hidden from man. I, that even in words lie hidden the key, that will open above and below. Hark ye, now man, this word I leave with thee. Use it, and ye shall find the power in its sound. Say ye the word, Zin, Uru, and power shall find. Ye, must ye understand that man is of light, and light is of man. List ye, O man, and hear a mystery stranger than all that lies neath the sun. Know ye, O man, that all space is filled by worlds within worlds. Aye, one within the other, yet separate by law. Once in my search for deep buried wisdom, I opened the door that bars them from man. Called I from other planes of being, one who was fairer than the daughters of men. I, I called her from out of the spaces to shine as a light in the world of men. Used I the drum of the serpent, wore I the robe of the purple and gold, placed on my head, I, the crown of silver. Around me the circle of cinnabar shone. Raised I my arms and cried the invocation that opens the path of the plains beyond. Cried to the lords of the signs in their houses, lords of the two horizons, watchers of the treble gates. Stand ye one at the right and one at the left, as the star rises to his throne and rules over his sign. I, thou dark prince of Arulu, open the gates of the dim, hidden land and release her whom ye keep imprisoned. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, dark lords and shining ones, 
and by their secret names, names which I know and can pronounce. Hear ye, and obey my will. Lift I then with flame my cycle, and called her in the space plains beyond. Daughter of light, return from Arulu. Seven times and seven times have I passed through the fire. Food have I not eaten, water have I not drunk. I call thee from Arulu, from the realm of Ikashigal. I summon thee, Lady of Light. Then, before me, rose the dark figures. I, the figures of the Lords of Arulu, parted they before me, and forth came the Lady of Light. Free was she now from the Lords of the Night, free to live in the light of the earth sun, free to live as a child of the light. Hear ye, and listen, O my children, magic is knowledge and only is law. Be not afraid of the power within thee, for it follows law as the stars in the sky. Know ye that to be without knowledge, wisdom is magic and not of the law. But know ye that ever ye by your knowledge can approach closer to a place in the sun. List ye, my children, follow my teaching, be ye ever seeker of light. Shine in the world of men all around thee, a light on the path that, sh that shall shine among men. Follow ye, and learn of my magic. Know that all force is thine if thou wilt. Fear not the path that leads thee to knowledge but rather shun ye the dark road. Light is thine, O man, for the taking. Cast off the fetters, and thou shalt be free. Know ye that thy soul is living in bondage, fettered by fear that holds ye in thrall. Open thy eyes, and see the great sunlight. Be not afraid, for all is thine own. Fear is the lord of dark Arulu, to he who has never faced the dark fear. I know that fear has existence, created by those who are bound by their fears. Shake off thy bondage, O children, and walk in the light of the glorious day. Never turn thy thoughts to the darkness, and surely ye shall be one with the light. Man is only what he believeth, a brother of darkness or child of the light. Come thou into the light, my children, walk in the pathway that leads to the sun. Hark ye now, and list to the wisdom. Use thou the word I have given unto thee. Use it, and surely thou shalt find power and wisdom, and light to walk in the way. Seek thee, and find the key I have given. Ever shalt thou be a child of the light. Emerald Tablet 11 The Key to Above and Below Hear ye, and list ye, O children of Kem, to the words that I give, that shall bring ye to the light. Ye know, O men, that I knew your fathers, I, your fathers, in a time long ago. Deathless have I been through all the ages, living among ye, since your knowledge began, leading ye upward to the light of the great soul, have I ever striven, drawing ye from out of the darkness of night. Know ye, O people, amongst whom I walk, that I, Thoth, have all the knowledge and all of the wisdom known to man since the ancient days. Keeper have I been of the secrets of the great race, holder of the key that leads into life. Bringer up have I been to ye, O my children, even from the darkness of the ancient of days. List ye now to the words of my wisdom, 
List ye now to the message I bring. Hear ye now the words I give thee, and ye shall be raised from the darkness to light. Far in the past, when first I came to thee, found I thee in caves of rocks. Lifted I thee by my power and wisdom, until thou didst shine as among men. I found I thee, without any knowledge. Only a little were ye raised beyond beasts. Fanned I ever the spark of thy consciousness, until at least flamed as men. Now shall I speak to thee knowledge, ancient beyond the thought of thy race. Know ye that we of the great race had and have knowledge that is more than man's. Wisdom we gained from the star-born races, wisdom and knowledge far beyond man's. Down to us had descended masters of wisdom, as far beyond us as I am from thee. List ye now while I give ye wisdom, use it, and free thou shalt be. Know ye that in the pyramid I builded are the keys that shall now ye show the way into life. I draw ye a line from the great image I builded to the apex of the pyramid, built as a gateway. Draw ye another opposite in the same angle and direction. Dig ye, and find that which I have hidden. There shall ye find the underground entrance to the secrets hidden before ye were men. Tell ye now I know of the mystery of cycles that move in movements that are strange to the finite, for infinite are they beyond knowledge of man. Know ye that are nine of the cycles, I nine above and fourteen below moving in harmony to the place of joining that shall exist in the future of time. Know ye that the lords of the cycles are units of consciousness sent from the others to unify this with the all. Highest are they of the consciousness of all the cycles working in harmony with the law. Know they that in time all will be perfected having none above and none below, but all one in a perfect infinity, a harmony of all in the oneness of all. Deep neath earth's surface, in the halls of Amente, sit the seven, the lords of the cycles, I and another, the lord from below. Yet know thee that in infinity there is neither above nor below, but ever there is, and ever shall be, oneness of all, when all is complete. Oft have I journeyed to the halls of Amenti, oft have I stood before the lords of the all, oft at the fount of their wisdom have drunken, and filled both my body and soul with their light. Spake they to me, and told me of cycles, and the law that gives them the means to exist. I spake to me the Lord of Nine, saying, O Thoth, great are ye among earth's children, but mysteries exist of which ye know not. Ye know that ye came from a space-time below, this, and know ye shall travel to a space-time beyond. But little ye know of the mysteries within them, little ye know of the wisdom beyond. Know ye that ye as a whole in this consciousness are only a cell in the process of growth. The consciousness below thee is ever expanding in different ways from those known to thee. I, it, though in time-space below thee, is ever growing in ways that are different from those that were part of the ways of thine own. For know that it grows as a result of thy growth but not in the same way that thou didst grow. The growth that thou had and have in the present have brought into being a cause and effect. No consciousness follows the path of those before it, else all would be repetition and vain. Each consciousness in the cycle it exists in 
follows its own path to the ultimate goal. Each plays its part in the plan of the cosmos. Each plays its part in the ultimate end. The farther the cycle, the greater is knowledge, the ability to blend with the law of the whole. Know ye that ye in the cycles below us are working in the minor parts of the law. While we of the cycle that extends to infinity take of the striving and build greater law. Each has its own part to play in the cycles. Each has its work to complete in his way. The cycle below thee is yet not below thee, but only formed for a need that exists. For know ye that the fountain of wisdom that sends forth the cycles is eternally seeking new powers to gain. Ye know that knowledge is gained only by practice, and wisdom comes forth only from knowledge, and thus are the cycles created by law. Means are they for gaining of knowledge, for the plane of law that is the source of the all. The cycle below is not truly below, but only different in space and in time. The consciousness there is working and testing lesser things than those ye are. And no, just as ye are working on greater, so above ye are those who are also working as ye are on yet other laws. The difference that exists between the cycles is only the ability to work with the law. We who have been in cycles beyond thee, are those who first came forth from the source and have, in the passage through time-space, gained ability to use laws of the greater that are far beyond the conception of man. Nothing there is that is really below thee, but only a different operation of law. Look thee above or look thee below, the same shall ye find, for all is but part of the oneness that is at the source of the law. The consciousness below thee is part thine own, as we are part of thine. Ye, as a child, had not known the knowledge that came to ye when he became a man. Compare ye the cycles to man in his journey from birth unto death and see in the cycle below thee the child with the knowledge he has, and see ye yourself as the child grown older, advancing in knowledge as time passes on. See ye, we, also the child grown to manhood with the knowledge and wisdom that came with the years. So, also, O Thoth, are the cycles of consciousness children in different stages of growth, yet all from the one source, the wisdom, and all to the wisdom returning again. Ceased then he from speaking, and sat in the silence that comes to the Lord's. Then again spake he unto me, saying, O Thoth, long have we sit in a mente, God in the flame of life in the halls. Yet no, we are still part of our cycles, with our vision reaching unto them and beyond. Aye, know we that of all nothing else matters, except for the growth we can gain with our soul. Know we the flesh is fleeting. The things men count great are nothing to us. The things we seek are not of the body but are only of the perfected state of the soul. When ye as men can learn that nothing but progress of the soul can count in the end, then truly ye are free from all bondage, free to work in harmony of law. No, O man, ye should aim at perfection, for only thus can ye attain the goal. Though ye should know that nothing is perfect, yet it should be thine aim and thy goal. Ceased again the voice of the nine, and into my consciousness the words had sunk. Now, 
seek I ever more wisdom, that I may be perfected in law with the all. Soon go I down to the halls of Amenti, to live neath the cold flower of life. Ye whom I have taught shall never more see me, yet live I forever in the wisdom I taught. All that man is, is because of his wisdom. All that he shall be is the result of his cause. List ye now to my voice, and become greater than common man. Lift thine eyes upwards, let light fill thy being, be thou ever children of light. Only by effort shall ye grow upward, to the plain where light is the all of the all. Be ye the master of all that surrounds thee, never be mastered by the effects of thy life. Create then ever more perfect causes, and in time shalt thou be a son of the light. Free, let thine soul soar ever upward, free from the bondage and fetters of night. Let thine eyes to the sun in the sky space, for thee let it be a symbol of life. Know that thou art the great light, perfect in thine own sphere. When thou art free, look not ever into the darkness, but lift up thine eyes to the space above. Free, let thine light flame upward, and thou shalt be a child of the light. <laughs>